Hello and welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm Amanda Ziede with Washington Exec and with me today is Intrepid Solutions CEO Ryan Hebert and Executive Chairman Dennis Kelly. Thank you both for joining me today. Thanks for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Amanda. Of course. So Intrepid Solutions recently acquired Darkblade Systems. Uh, firstly, congratulations. I'd like to start by asking if you can tell us a bit about what this acquisition means for Intrepid Solutions in terms of growth or capability expansion. Sure, absolutely. The, the acquisition of uh, Darkblade was transformational for us uh, across a few key areas. One, from a capability perspective, adding breadth and depth across electronic warfare, SIGINT, cyber, and unmanned aerial systems, um, as well as uh, yeah, really the, the culture that they provided um, and they're going to provide to the platform was really complementary to the company. And then adding critical R&D capabilities as well that will help us um, grow organically where we have those capabilities currently, but also allow us to um, broaden our, our new business opportunities. Wonderful. So furthermore, how will the acquisition enable Intrepid to better serve its customers in the IC community, especially as threats in cybersecurity and electronic warfare increase? Sure, well, I think the, these threats in EW and cyber are you know, growing and changing almost every day at a global level. And uh, their deep domain expertise across these areas of EW and cyber that really go back to the early 2000s mm -hmm. um, really have given them the ability to uh, work within priority programs within the IC and DOD. So we believe their domain expertise really along with Intrepid's expertise in these areas will certainly energize um, you know, the capabilities we offer our customers and how we handle these global threats. So then why Darkblade Systems? Why does it fit so well with Intrepid Solutions? Yeah, certainly from a contract footprint perspective, um, very, very compelling for us. But, um, you know, their domain expertise and the fact that they've been delivering um, very critical, mission critical capabilities to their customers for almost a decade. So those boxes were checked very quickly early on. Um, but as we went through the process, really it was the culture alignment. Um, you know, I would say definitely both companies have a, a, a passion for, for the mission um, and a relentless pursuit um, to provide the capabilities that our customers are looking for at speed um, and that actually work. And then ultimately the uh, employee centric culture that we share where professional development and career paths are, are, are critical for, for us. And, um, you know, that it, everything just fits so well. Is there any more uh, plans to expand or does Intrepid have a specific growth strategy surrounding m and going forward? Sure. Absolutely. I think this would probably be a good two parter for Dennis and myself. Mm -hmm. Um, but just as a high level, we view dark blade as the second pillar. Um, to the platform um, and we're in the process of securing the third pillar, you know, right now in the national intelligence space and, you know, I'd kick it over to Dennis. Yeah, no, we, we think national intelligence is certainly uh, that third pillar we're looking for now that Darkblade is sort of filling that second pillar. And, uh, you know, we have been talking with a number of potential companies that could fill that, that third pillar for us. And so hopefully we'll have some exciting news before the end of the year. Uh, we're in some, you know, pretty advanced discussions on that front. So stay tuned. Yeah, Wonderful. We will. We look forward to it. Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you both again for joining me today. And again, congratulations. I look forward to catching up soon. All right. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Amanda.